Hi, this is Geo Rock Nerd. I'm a geologist and a rock hound. And today I want to talk about rock hounding the Shark's Tooth Ridge area of uh, central New Mexico. Um, this is a really interesting place to go to rock hound, and I hope that you will all enjoy this video. I have many examples of the types of things that you can find out there. There's also a beautiful landscape. Uh, to look at. So without further ado, Shark's Tooth Ridge. Out here at Shark's Tooth Ridge, there's this ledge of sandstone and there's shark teeth in it. And when you're rock hunting out here, what you want to do is look for the coarse grained sandstone like this and then pop it open break it with a rock hammer and quite often you'll find little shark teeth. And this piece has really tiny teeth in it. Probably not going to be able to see them. But they're really little sharp little dark colored points. Another trick with rock hounding out here is to find an anthill. It's like to collect coarse grained Plast and material. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll find a shark tooth. Looks like one right here. Yep. There's one. There's a fragment of one. There's another little fragment of one. broken. As you can see these are really small. And that's what you'll most commonly find out here. So these are very large septarian concretions that came from Shark's Tooth Ridge where I was rock hounding yesterday. Unfortunately I couldn't film them because my phone got overheated. It was over 100 degrees and it stopped working. But um, it's a very large calcite filled concretions. They're coming out of the Manco Shale or a tongue of the Manco Shale in the area around Shark Street Bridge. If you're lucky when you crack one of these open, you'll find an ammonite or another type of fossil. Here's an example. This is a giant bivalve that I found yesterday cracking over the concretion. You see it's extremely large. It's hard to get a full view of it. Unfortunately, when my phone stopped working yesterday because it overheated, I was starting to show how to rock hound for shark's teeth out at Shark's Tooth Ridge. Um, sometimes you get real lucky and you're going along and you see a piece of sandstone and there's teeth sticking out of it like, like this. So that, I'll be getting that out at some point. Uh, some of the concretion uh, nodules, septarian concretions, have giant crystals of calcite. This is one that I found out in the same area as uh, Shark Tooth Ridge, but not in that exact location. Sometimes you find imprints of fossils like this, part of a bivalve. When you're really lucky, you crack open, you crack open a concretion and you find an ammonite. This is a rather small ammonite. I have found a few this size. I have not found any of the really gigantic ones yet, but it's quite a thrill to smack a concretion and have one of these ammonites pop out. So that's another thing to keep a lookout for when you're out in the Mako Shale, the Dalton Sandstone Stringer, um, in the San Juan Basin area of New Mexico. Here's some gastropods that I found. You can see this one's quite large. 
from the same area. And, of course, the main reason to go out there for lots of people are the shark's teeth. So here's some fragments and bits and pieces of shark's teeth that I have found. There's a nice one. I don't know that you can see the serrations on that tooth. Some of them are very long and thin, kind of like thorns. I'm not good with species, so I can't tell you what animals these came from. But I don't really care. It's just the finding of them is the fun part for me. So there you have it. These are some of the things you can expect to find when you're in the Cabazon area near Shark's Tooth Ridge. Keep an eye out for these things and uh, have a real fun day out there. So here's a piece of sandstone from, Petra, from the um, Shark's Tooth Ridge. And I'm going to show how you can get teeth out just by scraping the rock. I soaked it for a few minutes in water. And so usually it's not that hard to get the teeth out. So, um, Sandstone is very poorly indurated. It's not heavily cemented, and so just scraping it, you can gently release the prize. So that's what I'm doing here. Just scraping around the tooth that's sticking out. Like yesterday, it was 100 degrees out there, and it was really too hot to spend a lot of time. And so I got some pieces of the coarse grain sandstone and brought them home to work on here to try to get some teeth. Unfortunately, that tooth had a split down the middle. And so when I took it out of the rock, it came in two pieces. That is pretty common for the teeth at Shark's Tooth Ridge. It's just unfortunate, but part of it. Another way to deal with coarse grain sandstone chunks, you want to see what's in them. Uh, if you don't see any teeth sticking out, you can give it a whack with a hammer. See if any pieces pop off with teeth in them. Of course, you run the risk of damaging anything that's in there. But since the teeth are fairly rare, uh, I haven't had too bad of luck with this method of cracking them open and seeing what's in there. Some kind of little imprint here. I don't know what that is. There's a little tooth right here, exposed by the hammer blows. It's like a little tiny thorn. Nothing too spectacular, but kind of fun. Yeah, I just cracked a piece open, and there's these little teeth sticking out. face. This rock does have more in it. I'm going to keep cracking. There's another little tooth I just found. Pulling apart a piece of sandstone. This one looks like it's still intact. Check out this little tooth I just found. 
and you can see the point of another one sticking out right there. So I'm going to work that one out, hopefully without breaking it. All right, so the two rocks that I had are now sand. Still some chunks in there that might be hiding a tooth or two. So um, I'm probably going to break those up and maybe run it through a sieve um, tomorrow or another time. For now, I'm done. This is my haul from those two rocks. Most of them are very small, but some of them are a little bit bigger. Overall, not bad for two rocks. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do wind up going out to Shark's Tooth Ridge and have any finds you'd like to share, please leave your comments and um, join me again another time for another rock counting adventure.